Diane in San Francisco. Hello, Diane. Hi. Hi, Diane. Hi. Uh, how are you guys? Good. We're good. You? <laughs> All right. A little nervous because uh, my um, what I wanted to talk about was that I I wouldn't consider myself a theist really. Um, I'm def I've definitely been anti-religion for a really long time, but um, sorry, I'm getting an echo. Oh, uh, sorry. sorry, that happens sometimes. Um, just try not to listen too much. Yeah, too, turn turn I, off I your know. turn off your TV sound. It is okay. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, my my issue has been that I can't really let go of the whole God concept, even though my logic tells me that there isn't one. And I don't know if it's like a knee-jerk reaction, because I was raised with it um, in a really religious place, you know. Um, so I have a really hard time. I really battle myself between letting go of that God concept, but I, I don't know why, but I can't say there's no God, well, even well, though everything in my head tells me there isn't. Um, so how does this manifest? I mean, do you find yourself praying reflexively or, um, or interpreting events as uh, indications of divine influence? Or what, how does this, how, how does this uh, um, manifest? It's, it's more like... Um, like, if I'm actually talking to someone about religion or God, I always hesitate to say, well, do we really think there's a, really a God? Uh -huh. and, um, I don't really pray. I don't, like, when I'm driving down the street and the light turns green, I don't say, oh, thanks, God. You so you're just, you're just not, you don't feel comfortable <laughs> saying it out loud to other people. Are you sure it's not just a social thing? Are you worried about their reaction, if you were well, to say that? Yeah, I mean, especially when I'm back home, and because... Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. I mean, and my, my uh, brother-in-law went to seminary, mm -hmm. which is ironic because he's the most unchristian person <laughs> there is. Well, um, what do you mean by that? He's, it's just that he's very judgmental. He's very, um, he doesn't treat people well. But well that yet, doesn't sound unchristian at all. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, he, it's, it's very holier than thou and like, oh, I'm better than you because I know the Bible or whatever. And I just kind of shake my head and. Well, you know, just, walk just away. right back at him. Tell him you're better than him because you don't. <laughs> yeah, you have every, every right to say that. You have as much right to say that as he does. That's true. And more I, because you've got, you know, a rational basis for your views, but yeah, at least I mean, as much. Yeah, it's just like the more the longer time's gone by and the more like education I've gotten, the more questions I've I've put out there, the more I've gone against everything that they're believing. Um but even like yesterday, I had, <laughs> this is going to sound ridiculous, but I was getting my hair done and we talked about religion. Mm -hmm. And I had a really hard time saying, well, really, is there a God? But did you yeah. say it or did you not say it? I, I did, but it was like, because we were both saying it and then, but I, I couldn't really say, well, yeah, I don't believe that there's a God. Yeah. It's, well, is is there i mean maybe there's either something you still like about the concept of a god or else there's something you are afraid of if you come out and say i don't think there's a god it, am i anywhere near the mark here well yeah i mean you know you always wonder like okay if you're at work and you say oh i don't believe there's a god what if and I know that one of my bosses is very religious, so mm -hmm. will that yeah. come back at me? Yeah, well, that's, that that's the whole social thing. And, um, it, you know, I'm not quite sure what it is you're hoping will tell you, and there's no magic secret to suddenly not caring about actual consequences socially from, um, from saying out loud what you actually think when, you know, you're in a culture like the rest of us that's mostly dominated 
with people that I don't agree with you. I still couldn't say I don't care. Um, and <clears throat> and uh, honestly, you're you're not under any obligation to go around wearing you know a big atheist T-shirt and waving an atheist flag and shouting atheism, atheism, atheism at the top of your <laughs> lungs. It's all right for you to be where you're at. There's, you know, um, I would be concerned if nobody was being open and activist about it because I think it's important, but I certainly don't think that everybody has to um, make a big deal out of it. All right, we're here saying there's no God, so you don't have to. <laughs> And are you looking for are you looking for a clincher from us that would like get you the rest of the way? I I really don't. I mean, it sometimes it just feels like sometimes I'm like the only one who like that I know of that because everyone I know is either definitely one way or just the other, and I really don't I don't ever talk to someone who's actually in that place where there's no question. It sometimes feels like you're the only one that kind of yeah. Well, my questioning lasted about two days, so <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, uh, but then it took me until my mid twenties to get to those two days. So, um, you know, I still feel like an idiot for hanging on that long. It, I don't know. It's different for different people. You're, I mean, no, we're certainly not going to judge you when you feel comfortable saying, you know, what you think one way or the other. Then then do that, and that that's cool. Or, it's I mean, really okay. if you decide that there is a God and you're a theist, then, uh, well, I mean, like I said, lots of smart people are still there. We don't agree, but, I mean, you know, we're, we're just two dudes on TV. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for taking my call.